Hello everyone. I thought I'd share how I'm sketching a page with birds. And these are Eurasian blue tits, which are these small, really cute blue and white and yellow <laughs> and black birds. So they're, they're really colorful. And um, yeah, I'm sketching from a few photo references here. So um, from, from photos that I took myself. As you can see, I'm just laying in the basics very quickly, so I'm, I'm not spending too much time on details at this point. Just roughening in um, the body, the head, the bill, the tail, the feathers, so uh, the wing feathers, and just a few loose pencil strokes to indicate where, where dark parts are. Switching to the next pose. So I find these quick sketches very helpful to get a sense for the posture and the overall um, gestalt of a bird. And if you've done enough of these, then it, it, it will get easier over time. So there I'm switching to my uh, softer, darker pencil to really punch in the eye. And these blue tits do have interesting um, markings on the head, sort of like a little neck band and an eye band. And of course it always helps, especially for birds or other animals or anything really, um, to know a little bit about the anatomy of what you're drawing. And switching to the next pose. So when sketching birds, I try um, to keep the shapes not so much like ovals or rounded um, shapes, but with a few angles. And if you watch birds closely, then you can observe that these angles indeed do exist. So for example, in the breast region and uh, in the neck region, so where the head meets the, the shoulders, there will be these angles that you can see and um, it makes for a much better bird drawing if you include these. Just sketching in a few of the wing feathers and not spending much time with the feet. So feet are often, um, can often turn out overworked so it's best to leave them just in a very loose and light way. And another little portrait that won't fit entirely on the page, but I like these loose arrangements in, in the sketchbook. So you could easily, if you see that you struggle with maybe um, a certain part of the body of a bird, then it's, it's a really great practice to just draw this one body part. There, again, indicating the feathers. So now I'm switching to my watercolors. I'm starting by adding in the blue parts of this bird with cobalt blue with a very light wash. So I'm laying in the really dark parts with this neutral gray. It's an interesting color because it's a dark gray but it doesn't contain any black pigment so I really like this um, when sketching animals. So 
So again, I've switched to my cobalt blue and I'm adding in all of the blue parts on, on the other birds. Sort of mixing um, my gray and my blue in the head region. And I'm using quite a small brush here. Um, so this is footage that I rediscovered from last year. And last year I um, was had this habit of working in pretty small scale. So I always used and I used a lot of um, small brushes. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do this anymore. So right now I'm using bigger brushes for all of my sketchbook work and my illustration work. But you know, you can get pretty good detail with these small brushes. <laughs> and working in these uh, color layers. So uh, adding one color at a time really allows me to fill a page with color quickly. So you don't have to rinse your brush that often and switch colors. Th so this is a, actually a good practice to, uh, for, for sketchbook work. So while I work on this bird, the parts on the top are already dry and so then later I can continue painting other colors. Now I'm adding the gray uh, scapular feather, so the shoulder region, with Davies Gray. Davies Gray is a pigment, or a color I should say, by Winsor & Newton, which has a lot of pigments in it, so I wouldn't really recommend it. I think I've mixed it with olive green here, adding still more pigments to it. But yeah, it's, it's this very nice, almost neutral, a little bit of green gray but I found it quickly mud muddies up um, if you mix it. I wouldn't really recommend it. And now I'm mixing uh, green gold and a little bit of yellow to for the belly part of of the bird so these small birds have really intense yellow green bellies really beautiful particularly in uh, contrast with the blue and so i'm just laying in this quick layer here nothing too elaborate So I'm leaving a few areas white here for highlights and this makes the bird look a little bit livelier, indicating feathers with my brush strokes. I'm using a little bit of Davies Gray to indicate uh, feathers in in the white region of the head. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about painting birds, then um, hop over to my blog. Uh, I share a lot of posts there. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and if you like, subscribe to my channel for more.